All right, welcome back to Grind Force Gaming. Nova here with another boss node tutorial. This time we are talking about 2840, and this level was absolutely insane. It took me, honestly, about two weeks to beat it. I tried it a couple hundred times, at least, to be honest with you. It was very tough. I finally beat it. You'll see here, actually, that I am on 3014 now, and that's because after beating 2840, I just steamrolled through and I beat 2940 as well. Uh, let's take a quick look at the lineup here. I was using Fashion Blanca for his damage and his AoE. It's incredible. He has a great passive as well. I've got his Fighting Spirit leveled to 30, so now his passive actually layers on teammates as well, which is absolutely amazing. Using B. Zangief here for his combo 2, and that's because that comes with a great stun, a great AoE stun, and then also he has the ability to interrupt. I'm using Elena as my healer. I have her Fighting Spirit at 30 as well, so her healing skill, which is combo 1, procs her super sometimes, and I'm using Bison, of course, as my like hybrid tank. Uh, but also damage dealer and with his fighting spirit at 20 he is giving a damage boost to the entire team uh, as far as my assist goes i used e honda because his fighting spirit gives a flat eight percent damage reduction to the entire team and then surprisingly enough i was using fei long as my other assisting fighter and that's because he gives 12 percent increased flame and burn damage so pairing him with Having the Fashion Blanca on the team is just an incredible way to introduce more damage and hopefully while you're kind of in that middle zone where no combo combos are going off or maybe you're just waiting so that you can time the B Sangeev spin correctly, you're doing a really good amount of damage over time. So let's just jump into it. You'll see here that this is the recording, this is the replay. And that's honestly because I tried this so many times and I tried screen recording it in real time and I always lost and I beat this pretty unexpectedly to be honest with you. But this team setup is really good and it shows that I'm in manual, but I was going back and forth between, there's the interrupt right there. You could see it uh, pop up in the back. Uh, that was from B. Sangeev. Anyway, I was going from manual to auto using the manual to auto hack that Ryan Force Gaming team members Dasket did a video on actually. I'll put a card up here at the top for you guys. It's a very helpful, helpful tactic to use, and that means you don't have to play in manual all the time. You can switch back and forth as timing uh, requires to help you beat levels that would be more difficult because the reality here is like I'm punching up a lot. These teams have a lot more power than mine do, and without the interrupt and without a good heal coming in, there's just no way that I would be able to beat these, to be honest with you. B. Sangeef is... Honestly, priority number one. If you're not building him already, you definitely need to. Uh, and this is exactly why you'll see here again. So this is 2940. I'm not going to cover this one like really too much in detail. Datscat has a great video on this as well that shows a lot more process, a lot more uh, thought about it and more of like a playthrough. This again happened unexpectedly. And honestly, I kind of just powered through them. I got some stuns that did in fact interrupt, but they didn't actually show you don't see the actual like interrupt coming up but i will attribute this one to be sangeef as well to be honest with you because you'll notice that two times their combos didn't go off and that allowed me to get their guy eliminated before he had any chance to hit my back line but i mean this team right now is just insane i'm loving playing with them right now and this is a good one to use because it's basically a free-to-play team as well you're gonna get fashion blanca for free just by logging in you can get Bison from Divination pretty easily. And you don't even need to level him up that much. He's great at SS. So anyway, there's my video for you guys today. If you enjoyed it, please take a moment to subscribe, throw a like on the video, and stay tuned for more. We've got a lot more Street Fighter Duel videos coming. Cheers.